All right, welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we're dealing with this horny elephant. I guess he does have or a lot of... Whatever you want. He call has it. some strange placement of horns, I gotta say. Yeah, Whoa. he's like a stegosaurus. Not, I mean, not really. I was... You know, there are very few animals that have, like, forward arching horns like that. Yeah. Even, like, dinosaurs, I don't think that was very common. Although, I guess he's not really a dinosaur. This is what, uh, I don't remember the age that woolly mammals were present in. So, what is this projectile? Spit? Oh, acid spit? Oh, what? That's bullshit. Yeah, I guess there's a lot guess, more randomness well, to when they spawn out of there than I thought. I thought there, were, there was at least a, like, five second buffer. So woo, I think woo. what it's doing is that the more and more you damage him, like in the in the past enemies, they've done a different attack or they've tried to hit oh. you in some different way. You think it Maybe just, with oh God, this, I did not pay attention oh. to that. Maybe I, I was this, way too close for comfort Maybe with there. this, it's not so much him that does something different, it's maybe how it's... many enemies come out, and how quickly they do. That makes sense, actually. And maybe he even moves a little bit faster, too, because um, I think if he spat out more of those things, yeah. um, kind of like what the first boss did, then that might be a little too difficult. Yeah. Um, but these guys, I think that's a good way of adding more challenge. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. oh dear. Oh man. Although it's oh, kind of cute that he's just like sleeping. Yeah. Oh, I have to kill things. <laughs> we we show up and he's like, all right, I guess I'll get up. I'm like I'm gonna murder you, well, woolly woolly mammoth. I keep calling him <laughs> an elephant because of you. Best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. And then he just stabs you. Yeah, Folgers is gross. By the way, Folgers, if you're watching this, we totally love you. We're totally kidding. I don't know. Who knows? I don't even know if this channel will ever get to a point where we would want a sponsor, yeah, to be honest. True. Like, it sounds nice, right, to, like, make money for, for working on this, but I don't know if I'd want a sponsor. Yeah. There's a lot of channels that do things with, like, Loot Crate and stuff, and it's just, like, never really appealed to me. That's fair. Oh, almost got him. Yeah! Maybe this is it? Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, alright, I'm done. I, this is the first one we didn't Guts. actually kill. For what it's worth. Guts. This is the last level. Also, just random Ooh. dinosaur that's dead here. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to get up there. I, I doubt it. It's yeah, the way that that probably. top part of his face is done. Uh, what? Yep. Why? Because there's a maiden in here. Why else? How do you know this? I don't know. Sheesh, man. Oh, I like seeing the the gross like oh, worm thing forgot. crawl in and cr crawl out and crawl back into the little hole. Yeah. I. Oh, good. Red Deads are in this game. These guys are actually kind of cool. So they switch things up because when you kill them or when you damage oh, they them, multiply. Yeah, they they break down into like a lesser form. Um, one downside of this design, I think, is that it just slows down. Yeah, it level just slows flow. down your gameplay. Yeah, because I mean, it gets to a point where it's just like, all right, I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, sit and smash them. Um, oh, same thing they, with these. The, yeah, guys. these guys. Yeah, maybe this level is just more about slow pacing. Oh, those won't kill me. I thought those were spikes. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is where the platform damn gets stomach acid. It gets it gets hard, man. As I make one of the. It's cool most... walking into spikes, man. That's tough. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> don't get hit! Don't get hit! I'm glad Just that. Just finished saying. I'm probably gonna die at that next platform anyway, so you know. Uh, yeah. Oop, that's what, not the what, right button. What? I, I dashed. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend to run at you, but not. This is actually the point of the game, too, where in my personal playthrough, I kind of... Oop, wrong order. I think I took a break for a while just because I was like, this is... this is just too this much. This is otherworldly. It's, well, it's not that it's otherworldly, it's just that it's so difficult, and it takes so much time, and it's that yeah. much more likely that you're gonna die, that... 
Well, I guess what's also throwing me off about this is that it's not- it's so much different than any of the other levels in that you don't have nearly the amount of room to work with. It is a lot more compact, and I think that's the point, too, is that that's why the platforming because becomes challenging. Yeah. Because it requires you to kind of combine the platforming mechanics um, in, ah, damn it, in ways that we haven't before. At least in ways that weren't required before. Yeah. Like, that, that thing that I keep dying at is a really good example. It's never really been that necessary for me to be able to dash and do the double jump in the yeah. same movement. I just realized when you swing the club, it goes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like that actually. Yeah, I love the the animation of the club swinging. It's it's satisfying to watch. It is really satisfying, you know. And for God damn it, wrong. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The animations are good. I, I like the animations. <laughs> They're simple. They're, they're, they really aren't anything more than they need to be. Yeah. I think one thing they do pretty well, too, or at least he does, because I, I know it's just one guy that made this. Oh, wow. Um, the, the environment has a lot of animations going on all the time. Yeah. Um, in every level, too. That was dumb. Um, on my part. All right. Dash, then jump. <sighs> jump on the platform. <laughs> you did it right, and I apologize for not being clear on how to do it. How to do it. It's my fault, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Cujo strike one or whatever. It's cool. Don't give me more, more work. It's too late. I already did. Nah. <laughs> no. No. Nah. Nah. Uh, see, I don't... I, I don't like the kind of enemy where you have to wait for his helmet to go up. I think at least it's more... Damn it. I think it's more appropriate in the... Uh, in the end of the buddy. game. Oh, buddy. Yeah, this might uh, be a, a couple I episodes. I would have lost my mind. I would have lost my damn mind. This is why. Okay, so before we started recording recording this, I was like, hey, Kuju, do you want to play this time? And he was like, yeah. I was like, okay, you have to play this one ahead of time, though. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't. And I was like, nope, you're not playing on this recording then. And uh, he was like, oh, fine. That was not how I sounded. I was close, but yeah. Ah. <laughs> you need to dash faster. Sorry, guys, it's me again. My fault. But anyway... I don't know. I mean, I agree. I, I think I, of all the levels in this game, I think this is probably the one that I might be the least happy with design-wise. Yeah. Like, I know what they're trying to do, but it stops being fun and just starts being frustrating, and I think they, they've been teetering on that threshold for most of the game. Right. And that's part of what makes it fun. Um, but then this is the level where they really crossed that line and it stops being fun. Yeah. They crossed the line! They did, though, like... I know. I just wanted to make it seem a lot more epic. <laughs> and dramatic. Dramatic. Oh, um... I do really like these enemies, though. I, at least aesthetically. Yeah. Partially digested I, I, things. Yeah. I, I I understand what it, what it is that they're trying to make, but I, I just see Red Deads. And that's not a knock. I actually like the Red Deads in Zelda. I think they're really cool. I mean, who doesn't like them? Damn it, why people, do I keep doing that? People who are afraid of zombies, because I have friends who are afraid of zombies. How did I do two double jumps? How did you do two dashes? I think it's because I went through the platform. Oh, maybe that's what I meant, two dashes. Yeah, I think it's because I went through the platform, so maybe it registered that I had another one, or that uh -oh. I, it, like, reset. Uh -oh. That's interesting, though. I would have expected that it would reset only when you actually stop. Uh, the vertical movement. Yeah. Because I think that's how most game logic works. Usually. Traditionally. Alright, this is this is the money maker. Nice! See what happens when you stop talking? <laughs> Dude, it, it's, it really is hard <laughs> hey, sometimes no, to, totally to play that. and talk at the same time. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Ah! Oh man, I don't like this thing. Come on. So this is... Ugh. And there's a Red Dead over there, too. Ugh. Yep, 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 yep. At least they give you just enough space to uh, oh. attack it. Just gotta get past the screen. Okay. Getting past... The, oh. Yeah, at this point in the game, just getting past each screen is really oh, yeah. all that matters. Oh, Not even what? worth it. Not even worth it. Not gonna bother. 
Alright, you can do this, you can do this. Uh-oh. 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 Hammer uh -oh. died! Just uh -oh. like me. Okay, so... Question of the day. Um... What do you guys think about the enemy design in this level that... In, in, in the sense of how it uh, slows down the kind of movement through the stage. I wouldn't even say enemy design, I'd say the pacing of this level, because this is supposed to be the last level of the game. Therefore, the idea is that it's climactic. It's supposed to be a culmination of everything you've learned up until this point. Do you feel that having an enemy type that sort of slows things down works for that concept? Or what would you do differently for the final level of this game? Yeah. Especially if we're going through the insides of a dinosaur. Still yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, that's all we got for this episode. Um, tune in next time. Thank you for watching, guys. See ya.